today we're going to talk about Toyotas. <laughs> no. Today is Dodge Muscle Mania at LCR. We're going to look at these awesome Dodge Muscle cars. In the past years, Dodge has gone further and further into the extreme with their V8 powered cars. And it seems that with the new EPA and CAFE regulations, we have reached a definitive peak of American V8 muscle cars. That's why we want to dedicate this episode to Dodge muscle cars. So if you're a fan of raw American V8 muscle, this video is for you. The 6.4 liter Hemi is Dodge's most powerful engine that can be had with a manual transmission. There simply is no more thrilling driving experience than driving a 6.4 liter V8 with a true six-speed stick shift. Holy shit, that's so fast, dude. Holy shit. 485 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque on the rear wheels is insane. And all of that for a sticker price of under 54 grand. Models that go beyond that go all the way up to the 1,025 horsepower Hellcat Demon, with 945 pound-feet of torque being the only production car able to do a wheelie from the factory with a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 engine. And the Challenger's ability to drain an entire tank of fuel in 11 minutes is the best part of this. Dodge has been the OG of American muscle in recent years. Their Challenger is not only bigger, heavier, and more American looking than its competitors, but it's also faster than all of them, with a peak being the Hellcat Demon 170, setting an insane 0 to 60 time of only 1.66 seconds. We'll zoom in on some of the details of the last muscle cars from Dodge, but first we need to talk about the driving experience. It's hard to match the fun and insanity of driving one of these. It's more than just the speed, and that's why an electric Challenger can never replace it. Fake gearbox and fake engine noise sounds are like going from enjoying a juicy ribeye steak at a true steakhouse to eating a Beyond Burger at Burger King. The real sound of a large displacement V8 engine that can actually be heard? A gear shifter where you can feel the mechanical gears, where it actually matters when and how you shift. <laughs> so ridiculous. And so much raw power to the rear wheels. We got to drive this Challenger Shaker, which is powered by a 5.7 liter V8 engine paired to a 6-speed manual, producing 375 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. Shaker refers to the air inlet that sticks through the hood, where you can see the engine shake. Are they going to fake that too in the electric Challenger? Speaking of sound, the exhaust pipes automatically open when you rev the car over 3000 RPM to release that brutal V8 growl. These Challengers are the true modern incarnation of the 60s muscle cars. Muscular looks, crazy performance with modern technology and with a big ass engine. There simply is no replacement for this placement. One such modern thing is for example the keyless entry system that allows you to lock the car with a press of a button. But it holds another trick. Not sure if you've ever tried locking your key fob in the trunk, but we tried and it turns out you can't. The trunk releases automatically. Smart thinking Dodge, smart thinking. Speaking of openings, all the hood scoops in the Dodges are real. We've shown you the shaker hood, which is the most extreme one of them all. This jailbreak has a set of more traditional looking scoops in its hood. And if you thought those air inlets looked cool, look at this one in the Challenger. There's an air inlet hole in the inner headlamp. Well, it's not really a headlamp, but it does light up. The Dodge Charger red eye jailbreak that you're looking at is the last edition of the Charger. What does that mean? To start, 807 horsepower under the hood, which sounds like this. You can recognize the red eye jailbreak first of all by a literal red eye in the Hellcat badge. Other than that, they're almost as customizable as a Rolls Royce. Brake calibers are available in no less than six colors inside the choice of seven wheel types. It's got thick, supportive seats with Laguna leather finish. Rich Corinthian leather. They come in a variety of available colors and even the seat belts can be ordered in your custom color of choice. These ones are a fitting demonic red. The red theme continues in the analog gauges and the engine start button. Just like the hood scoops, the carbon finish on the dashboard and center console is genuine and gives the jailbreak a sporty look. Inside all that carbon is an 8.4 inch touchscreen featuring Dodge's performance pages so you can record and beat your own records. This steering wheel can be customized with your choice of leather or Alcantara, the latter of which I don't understand for a steering wheel. 
It's a terrible material for a high touch surface. What's really cool is the SRT badge on the steering wheel that lights up, available in either red or white. This body collar spoiler can be exchanged for a contrasting set in black option, and even the exhaust tips are customizable with an option for these really cool looking black nickel ones. The jailbreak has Dodge's a signature muscular wide body stance with the wheel wells sticking out for the extra wide racing tires. The more rubber on the road, the more grip. And with over 800 horsepower, you'll need all the friction you can get. The muscle car features a launch control feature which revs up the engine to its maximum torque level and then releases the brakes for the fastest possible start, releasing all its power at once onto the rear wheels. An interesting comparison is how similar the Charger and Challenger are in size. The Challenger is a two-door coupe, but it's only half an inch shorter and actually wider than the sedan. Both models boast lots of interior space, which is sufficient even for my 6 foot 8 tall body. And I even fit inside the trunk. But please, don't abduct me. You're getting good at getting into this thing. <laughs> You're a professional. <laughs> uh, anyway, as I was saying, lots of trunk space. The rear bench can be lowered from the interior and you get full access to the trunk. And hey, look. It's these things that everybody hates so much when they're still in the car. The rear of the Charger still comes with Dodge's signature sunglass shaped heck blend that can also be found on the Durango and Dart, but interestingly not on the Challenger. The doors feature floodlights for easy getting in and out at night. During the day, light can flood in through its large sunroof. Everything is of course power adjustable as you can expect from American tradition. The Dodge cars offer the most power for the money available in any sports or muscle car, and combined with the aggressive American design and nice creature comforts, they're currently some of the most exciting and best deals available on the market. All I can say is, buy one while you still can. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so, and we'll see you at the next video. Thank you for watching and we want to thank our sponsor for this video, Don Jackson North in Cumming, Georgia. When I was doing the U-turn, I was a little confused with shifting. Yeah, you see this R right here on the shifter knob? Uh-huh, that one? You shift into R for race mode. Oh, that's what I was doing wrong.